hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to share some tips and tricks for wordpress debugging while development so let's jump in so first of all let me open my local site and currently uh, there is no error uh, you can see on the uh, on this screen so uh, open the wp-config.php file and add this line define wp debug and true so why you need to make true while developing so making this wp debug true will display any error generated by our code so currently there is no error uh, in our code so it's not displaying any error but let's make some error so i am going to open child themes functions.php and i am going to add some temporary code So this should generate a uh, notice. So as you can see, uh, this is generating a notice and as we have enabled a WP debug, that's why it is displaying notice over here. Now, uh, while developing, uh, you might don't want to uh, display this notice on the screen so that uh, you can log this notice in some file so wordpress have wordpress has a, another constant for doing that so let me show you that constant so again i am going to wp config file and there is a constant called wp debug log so what this constant does so this constant will generate a log file under the wp content folder currently there is no log file you see over here so whenever there is a, there is any error generated by your code it will uh, generate a log file under the WP content folder so let's try to refresh this again uh, we can still see the error on the screen now as you can see there is a new file we can see over here which is debug.log and in that file you will see the same error now you don't want to display this file over uh, this error over here so define another constant which is wp debug display and make it false so this will prevent any error message to be displayed on the screen but it will still keep logging into this log file now uh, let's say I am adding a code
let's say I am adding some code over here and I want to check what I am getting into the post so I will do printer and we'll do die so I am getting this uh, result by doing printer but what if I don't uh, want uh, this to be printed on the screen but still able to uh, debug so for that we will uh, monitor this debug.log file so it is hard to monitor this debug.log file uh, through this editor so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to monitor this file uh, from the terminal so that as soon as any error uh, happens we can see that error on the fly so for that I am going to my terminal and I will go to the WP config folder of my site so I am at the WP content folder and now I am going to use this command tail f debug log so what this command does this command uh, checks the file and whatever uh, it uh, whatever error written in this file it will display uh, as any error added in the file it will display as soon as possible so I am going to close this from here and now I am going to use error underscore log and in this error underscore log I am going to print r this variable and while using printer in error log uh, we have to define second parameter as well as true so now let's make this and this side by side I'm going to refresh this page and as you can see it adds our uh, debugging code so this is how you can debug your code on the fly without making any page break also it will display the notice as well again I am going to refresh and see you can check your debug code instantly without uh, opening any file so this is how you can monitor the log file of the WordPress and make your debugging easy and this method I am using in my daily development process so I thought I should share this with you so this is the video guys uh, if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching this video 
see you in the next video